Hello, and welcome to the third installment of Introspect Technologies I3C series. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use a direct read and common command code to query an I3C slave for its provisional ID. The software commands in our test procedure are as follows. As before, we instantiate the I3C master and I3C slave and perform DAA. Next, we are doing a directed read with a CCC get PID to get the provisional ID from the slave. Then we'll print the output to the log. Upon clicking run, we can see that the master reset then assigned dynamic addresses and the slave has a dynamic address of 08. To read the provisional ID of the slave, the master is going over the bus to the slave. The list here is an integers, but we can see that it is the provisional ID I had set, 10 zeros, then a 01. Going back to the params tab, I can change the slave's provisional ID again, uncomment the protocol analyzer trace, and run the test. In the log tab, we notice that the printed list has changed, and if we go to the results tab, we can look at the trace. In the messages tab, we can see the DAA operation that we investigated in the previous video. The bus activity had stopped there in our last video because we did not query the slave for its provisional ID. This time, I performed an SDR direct read, which is shown as an entry here, and if we follow the hyperlink, we can see the I3C states. There are many timing states shown, and if we look for SDR direct read data, we can see the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, which represent the transfers coming from the device through the direct read operation. That concludes this video demo. We saw how the I3C master can read the I3C slave's provisional ID over the bus. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.